as well by thanking Dick Alvin of Commonwealth Ventures for hosting this event. This is an extraordinary uh, building, a beautiful facility, and we're here, of course, to uh, welcome 600 new employees to the Fort Point Channel. Uh, we're able to welcome these employees principally today because of the mayor's leadership. First, he makes sure that a comprehensive approach is taken to good planning. The mayor insists that we take a look at our neighborhoods, consider uh, planning impacts, work uh, with the strengths of neighborhoods, and assemble good plans before we move anything forward. And Fort Point Channel really encompasses all of the good things that we do to make sure that we plan correctly. We also have a very good working relationship with our new part partner, Boston World Partnerships, who have been instrumental in moving our business agenda forward and in marketing the city and all of its strengths, both nationally and internationally. Uh, but none of this happens without strong leadership, and the mayor demonstrates that every single day. Please join me in welcoming our mayor, Tom Menino. These days, the competition for business is steep. I want to make sure that we don't lose any jobs to other cities. We heard that retail convergence was considered a move to the hinterlands of suburbia. <laughs> Boston World Partnership brought this lead to our BRA, Mark Maloney. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, it was Dave McLaughlin. He's someplace back there. And they work together behind the scenes. They provide compelling data to quantify the real bottom line value of a Boston workforce. Retail convergence got to see a full cross section of the city's real estate options. Aggressive advocacy and quiet teamwork. That's the recipe for the success. That's why we're here today celebrating retail convergence growth in the city of Boston. In 2008, this innovative company has grew from 95 Boston-based employees to 120. In 2009, we had another 20 jobs right here on this site. I want to thank the CEO, Ben Fishman, and his team for working with my administration to strengthen his company, and more important, strengthen the city of Boston. We are doing something new and innovative, something that hasn't been done before around the world. Uh, we are reaching out to people who have Boston on their mind or in their heart who are interested in advancing economic development opportunities. And working with them, we are helping generate leads for uh, people to think in a different way or to find a way through a barrier that they might be encountering to make sure that they connect properly with the city of Boston. We had an opportunity, we heard about uh, uh, retail conversions, we heard about their thoughts of, of growth. They have a very creative business model, um, clearly a Boston type of concept, um, based on a smart idea with great business behind it, and we were able to help them realize uh, something they already knew, I think, I can't take full credit, they're a smart group already, uh, but help them realize that by staying in Boston's creative environments and creative economy, they would be able to attract even more people as they grew their plan into uh, enormous, even greater success than it is already. Uh, we've been looking for space in the Boston area for about 12 months or so. Uh, also, as Mr. Mayor said, looked out in the hills, the suburbs. Um, for us and for our company, we need creative space. We need space that a young, vibrant organization can prosper in. And we didn't know if that was going to be available for us in the city. Uh, our first reaction was that it wasn't going to be available. Hence, we went to the burbs and, and looked around. Uh, very quickly, though, the mayor and his different agencies stepped in and said, don't give up on us yet. Come look around and come look what we have to, have to offer and come look at what the city has to offer. Uh, when we found this space and with the work of Dick Galvin and his team, we very quickly realized that it very much embodies the type of organization we want to build. It's engaged learning it represents the same situation, the same kind of success for our city. They also depend on being able to hire smart, creative, out-of-the-box thinkers. And that's why we are here today. Syngage Learning is one of America's most respected and innovative sources of teaching, learning, and research solutions. They signed a lease for 110,000 square feet upstairs, bringing nearly 500 employees here just a few months ago. Syngage is a relatively new company, not only in name, but also in terms of ownership structure. And about a year or so ago, we went down the path of trying to find a new location for our employee base. 
Um, our history in Boston is actually long, and our roots are, are pretty deep here. And actually, when the decision or the time came up for us to find a space, Mr. Mayor, you'll be pleased to know there was absolutely no hesitation. We knew that Boston was our home. Uh, we were fortunate enough to find the Channel Center location. We were able to move two uh, pretty significant groups around Boston into this one location, and the experience has been perfect. And uh, to the landlord's credit and, and to the, uh, the developer's credit, they promised that there would be other tenants in this building soon, that retail would be coming, as well as restaurants and, and some other conveniences. And I'm pleased to now go back to my my constituency and tell them that mission mission accomplished. This will be a vibrant area, and we're pleased to be here. And Ben, best of luck, and good luck to your firm.